guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Victoria, but you can call me Vicky. Today I'm going to be doing my June BoxyCharm unboxing and try on. So if you're interested in seeing that, then just keep watching. So this month's theme for the box is Caribbean Queen. And I feel like that's really fitting since we're in the middle of summer, basically. Middle, well, we're about to be with July, but we're starting off summer strong and all the products, honestly, I think will work really well in the summer. So the first thing that we got in the box is the Alamar palette by Rihanna Del Caribe. Um, and I remember hearing Kathleen Lights talk about this in, I think, her monthly favorites. Um, or, no, when she's doing that Kim Kardashian makeup look, that's what it was. Um, but it retails for $28. It says, this palette features eight highly opaque sh shades reminiscent of the beauty and culture of Cuba. So actually you get four shimmery or metallic shades and you get four matte shades. So I did go ahead and do a quick swatch for you guys and the only one that didn't swatch that well is Coco Taxi, which is the yellow color right here. Um, the only sad thing about this palette is you don't get a mirror, but it is still really pretty with this palm, all the palm leaves and everything right here. So I'm not really complaining about that. Um, and honestly, the colors are really pretty for the summer. What I started off doing was I did go ahead and prime with my Urban Decay Primer, and I set my lid with just a cream shadow. And I went in with Coco Taxi first just to see how it played by itself. Um, and I went with that in the uh, crease. And then I went ahead and went in with Tropico. I'm, I don't know if I'm saying any of these right. I'm so sorry if I'm not saying any of these right. Um, and Tropico was a really pretty color. It's like this orange, it's this matte orange color and it blended beautifully. And I, I just went ahead and packed it in with one brush and I went in with a different brush and blended it out. The next shade that I went in with is Guantanamera. And I went ahead and just did that in the outer V and kind of brought it into the crease a little bit too. Um, same thing, I, I started off with one brush and then I blended it out with a different brush. And then I decided I really wanted to dip into those blues because I don't use blue at all. And I could have just went modern renaissance with it and just stuck with those warm tone shades. But I really wanted to go in with those blues. So I started off um, with Celia. That's actually the only blue that I used. Kind of sad, but it's okay. I'll try out the other colors soon. But Celia is this beautiful blue-green color. It didn't really go on too well with the brush, but... Uh, a couple layers of it makes it pretty opaque. Um, and then I went ahead and used my finger and it, it worked a lot better, so it's just not very precise. And then I went ahead and, uh, if you can't tell, put on the rest of my face and did my lower lash line. And again, I just went in with Guantanamera underneath my lash line. I did a little bit of the blue Celia. And then I went in with La Costa as like my inner corner highlight shade and kind of brought that in and mixed it in with the blue. And honestly, I am very happy with how this look turned out. I've never done anything near close to these colors before. I don't usually play with a lot of color, but this worked out so well and the colors blended so nicely. I honestly am in love with all the matte shades. I'm still gonna have to play around with the like shimmery shades a little bit more and see how I like those, but as of right now, I'm very impressed with this palette. And I do think that it is worth, what, what was it, $28? I would pay $28 for this palette by itself, and that already pays for the box, so. And in case you didn't know, BoxyCharm is $21 a month, so that's already your $21 and more with this one palette. And I probably would have bought this palette anyways because I love Kathleen, and she's been talking about it nonstop. So the next thing that I went in with are these lashes by Baddington. They are the Monroe Silk Lashes and they retail for $28. They're 100% silk and are durable, allowing up to 25 applications with proper care. So I have to say, I'm not the biggest fan of these lashes just because on me, I don't like how um, these type of lashes sit. So these are like longer in the middle and they're shorter on the outsides. And usually, the kind that I like are shorter on the inside and longer on the outside, just because that, that complements my eye shape. I have very close together eyes, so when they, when they have like the longer parts on the edges, it brings your eyes outwards and makes them look like they're further apart. And with this one, I don't, I don't know exactly what eye shape that's supposed to complement, the one with uh, longer hairs in the middle and shorter on the outsides. I don't know uh, what eye shape that's supposed to complement, but it doesn't complement mine. And I don't really like it but I could see myself wearing these again just because I have them and they will last a while since they are those silk lashes but they were so hard to put on 
I really can't stand the lashes that have that thick band because they're so hard to put on and I'm not the best with lashes. I mean, I wear Ardell lashes, which have those like clear bands that are really easy to work with. I've only ever worked with those before. I, I think I've had one pair of lashes like this and I can barely wear them. And they also kind of hurt and bother my lashes, my lash line. So I don't know if I'll be wearing these again, but I'm glad that they put them in the box so I could know because I've never tried out lashes that are long in the middle and short on the outsides. So I've never tried that, um, but now I know I don't like it. So yeah, they do look pretty though. I think on somebody else they would look really pretty. And if you knew how to put on lashes with that thick band, they would, you'd probably like them a lot better. These were very frustrating to put on. <laughs> it took me like 10 minutes. I tried to film it, you guys. It was bad. So the next product that I went in with is the Jante Blue Waterproof Eyeliner Pencil in the charcoal color. And it, it retails for $5. But honestly, I don't know what I'm gonna do with a charcoal eyeliner. Like, I'm not gonna use a gray eyeliner. Um, but I did go ahead and try to use it in my waterline and it just didn't show up. Now this may be one that you need to use just on your lids, you know, um, as like normal eyeliner, not waterline, but it says waterproof. So I assume that they, they would make this waterproof so you could put it in your lash line. Um, so I'm gonna have to try this out as an actual like on the lid eyeliner. Um, but as a one for your waterline, I don't recommend it. And the next thing that I went in with are the Luxie three-piece flawless complexion brushes. So in this kit, you get a precision foundation brush, a tapered highlighting face brush, and a duo fiber powder brush. So um, these brushes I use separately for different things. I use the precision foundation brush, which I probably will never use for foundation. I use that with my e.l.f. contour palette and I went in with the darkest shade that I usually contour with. I just went in and contoured with that and I think, honestly, this brush is really nice for that. I don't think I'll ever use this for foundation because it's honestly too small. Like that would take forever to try and bling your foundation with this. But contouring with it and even my nose, it worked really well. It almost works better than the brush that I have now to contour with, which is just like a flat brush. That, that's what I use. Um, but this is so nice and I think I will be using it for contour later on too. Did I say how much those retail for? I don't think I did. So the pack retails for $42. That's a lot. The next brush that I went in with is the Duo Fiber Brush and I went ahead and dipped into my Essence Satin Blush in the color Satin Love and I think it applied it really well. It didn't apply too heavy so I could control the amount that I put on. Um, and honestly, this worked really well for that. I don't use duo fiber brushes like the ones that have um, different heights. I, I don't really use those. And I think I have one that's really small that I don't use at all because I don't know what to use it for. But I think I will use this for um, blush later on because my blush brush that I have now is kind of like dying on me. So this might be, be, this might be my replacement, so we'll see. And then the last brush that I went in with is the Tapered Highlighter Brush. And I went ahead and used my Becca, what is this, Prosecco Pop Highlighter. It's this like gold color. I really love using this during the summer and I felt like it fit this look. Um, and it applied my highlighter beautifully. Like honestly, it applied it so well and so precise. So I think it applied really well. Honestly, all three of these brushes are very high quality, they feel great. They feel like they're gonna last me a long time. None of them are shedding or anything, and I'm very happy about these. I don't think I would pay 40, how much were they? $42 for these, um, but I'm glad that I got them in this box so I could try them, and I do really like these. So the last makeup product that I used today is the Galactic Lip Paint, and I got mine in the color Blossom. I do have another Galactic, uh, lipstick that I got in a previous box and it is in the color Demure. So as you can tell, Demure is much more of a nude color or like a nudie pink and this is more of, I honestly think it would be on the side of like a berry red color, but it's really pretty for uh, summer and it's not tacky at all. Sometimes matte lipsticks are tacky, but this is great. Like this wears really well. I've worn that one before like all day long it wears off really well. It doesn't look gross after you've eaten or anything like that. So I'm honestly excited to get another one of the Girlactic lipsticks. 
or is it matte lip paint? Sorry, matte lip paints. Um, so I think this was a great product to include in the box. And the lip paint retails for $23. Forgot to say that earlier. And the last product in this box is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. And you get it in this pocket size, um, but it is $10. And I think they do like sell this at Sephora as a pocket sized edition. Um, I think they call this purse size. Um, and it says that the fragrance is pistachio caramel. And I put this on a little while ago and it left my skin really soft. It doesn't feel like tacky or, or greasy. It feels really nice. So I think I will be using this. Okay, look how shiny my shoulder is. Like, can we appreciate that for a second? Like, okay. So I'm very excited to get this because this has been like a lot of beauty guru cult favorites for a while now. And I'm excited to try this out. And you kind of do get a big amount in this container. Like it looks small, but it's pretty deep and it goes all the way up to the top too. So I think this will last me a while too. I might just put this in my handbag now and have it for later. Okay guys, so that was my June BoxyCharm unboxing and try on for you guys. Um, honestly, this box was really good. The only ones I didn't like were the lashes, which is totally subjective. I mean, anyone could try those lashes and love them. I could see how someone would love these. But for me, they're just a little bit irritating on my eyes and they're not the right shape that I like. And the eyeliner pencil, I didn't like that either. In case you're, you're wondering what I'm looking at, I'm looking at the um, description of all the products in this card they gave us this month. So three out of five or four out of five if you include lashes is so pretty good. And honestly, I'm gonna give this eyeliner pencil another try. I am gonna, like I'll try to use it by itself. Maybe it just doesn't work very well in the lash, in the um, waterline. So I will give this another try. It may not be a complete dud, but honestly, this palette, this palette made the box. It made the box along, okay, along with the brushes because these brushes worked really well. Like I've never had a set of brushes from BoxyCharm that worked so well. Well, they're, they're Luxie brand, but from a BoxyCharm box, like the whole set worked. Usually that's not what happens. This was a good box. Like I, Honestly, can't wait to see what the other summer boxes have in store because if this is just for June, imagine July and August. That's all I'm saying. So, <laughs> thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!